Hey there, it's your buddy Phil here. I got a brilliant question from Bassie today that I wanted to address. For those of you going through the PMP exam training course, the Project Management Masterclass. So, there are two broad categories to study for the exam. You have the PMBOK Guide 6th edition, which is made up of processes and process groups and knowledge areas. And then you have the world of Agile. In addition to that, you have a middle ground, which we will refer to as hybrid zone. Hybrid means it could have a predictive component and an Agile component, or an agnostic view to project management, which is neither predictive nor Agile. So the question is, how do I use the multiplicity of materials? I have the PMBOK guide, I have the Agile practice guide, I have the Scrum guide, I have the Agile practice guide, and I have videos on the learning management system. This is the trick. In order to maximize the content you have, my advice would be to treat it as a meal. In the morning, you could without fail eat breakfast. In the afternoon, you could without fail eat lunch. And in the evening, without fail, eat dinner. If you've got a little more room, you can even go for supper. My advice would be to decide which time of the day you will unfailingly listen to audio You want to listen to audio at the most convenient point in your day, when you may be busy doing something else of a menial nature that does not require a lot of brain power, such as mowing the lawn, walking the dog, going for a jog or a walk to keep fit, being on the treadmill, washing dishes, that kind of stuff. Even getting ready to go out is an opportunity to listen to audio. The more you listen to the audio, the more it will permeate and stick in your head. So decide, just like I did. My particular point for listening to audio was in the morning getting ready for work. Without fail, come 6, 6.30 a.m. in the morning, on comes that stereo player and I'm listening to audio explaining the processes, the process groups, definitions, and all that stuff. Next, the way I did it, in the afternoon while I was on break at work, I would unfailingly take quizzes. And in addition to taking quizzes, I would read a chapter in the PMBOK guide. So in the morning, if I listen to integration while I was getting ready for work, in the afternoon, I could take an integration quiz and then I could read about integration. And the way I read the PMBOK guide was I would make sure I covered the entirety of a chapter summary or the entirety of a chapter in one block. So, each chapter has a summary in the beginning, each chapter has the main body, and of course, that's broken down into inputs, tools, techniques, and outputs. But the trick is not to cram or memorize. The trick is to understand what exactly these components are and to feel comfortable How do you feel comfortable with material like this? The secret is as soon as you hit an unknown, you must look for physical demonstration of that tool or technique or that document, be it an input or output. You want to see it being used. And that is how to navigate the enormity of inputs. Seeing, as they say, is believing. If you are not seeing, 
then you're probably not believing. You may think you believe, but how can you believe what you don't absolutely know or what you cannot imagine? Now, we're all different. Some of us are able to imagine what a document would look like just by the definitions in the PEMBOK guide, and others are unable to do that. They need tangible evidence that this thing is what they're thinking, and it exists in this capacity. So if that sounds like you, you need to find physical demonstrations of the inputs, tools, techniques, and outputs. And that takes away cramming and the need for memorization. If I said product analysis, what exactly is it? Can you imagine using product analysis as you designed a birthday cake or as you designed software? If you cannot, it means you have not mastered that concept. It's very simple. If you cannot imagine using a tool or technique or generating an input or output, it means you have not truly mastered what that ITTO is. You don't have to cram or memorize. Here's another example. Questionnaires or surveys. Can you understand how that could be used to collect information such as requirements? It's a very simple concept. So for every input tool and technique and output, don't cram or memorize, look for evidence. Now, the way I see the PEMBOK guide, ITTOs, processes, process groups and knowledge areas is just like an hourglass. Eventually the sand will run out, but for the sand to run out of one end, you must be allowing the sand to escape. And every time you master a concept, the sand escapes a little bit more. How many grains of sand are there? You could put a number on it and say, give or take their 500 grains of sand. And as I study, 20 grains of sand every day, within 25 days, that sand must expire from the other end of the hourglass. And that's the challenge, consistency. So rather than be moved at the enormity of the book and the multiplicity of words in the PEMBOK guide, have a plan to every day without fail cover 20 new topics or concepts. I can assure you, for those of you who are truly project managers, which should be everyone, the contents of the PEMBOK guide are not beyond your tolerance for ambiguity. They are not beyond your tolerance for pain. So my advice to you is to target a time of the day to address these ITTOs. Not memorize, but seek to understand them so that you as a practitioner of the profession can demonstrate proficiency when you are called upon to do so or when you find the opportunity to do so. Now, driving back home, my MO was to continue listening to audio as I drove. And on getting home, I would, in addition to everything else I had done, use a learning system to take additional mock exams, to take additional quizzes and to study. For you, you could choose to study PEMBOK during the day and agile concepts at night. Another way is studying everything in agile over a period of days and studying everything in the PEMBOK guide from chapters one to 13 over a number of days and repeat. 
So, have a plan and stick to the plan. And before you know it, all the concepts you would have taken down one by one. Now, to help you further, I have videos out there where I cover in a checklist all of the tools and techniques. In fact, on the learning system, there is a set of videos called Tools and Techniques Turbo. And I go through every single tool and technique from start to finish. Now this could be one for you to take a look at in one day and be done with the tools and techniques. As far as the inputs and outputs, again, go through the glossary on one day or go through the glossary broken into different days. Also, page 89 has the most important outputs and inputs because we're talking about the project management plan components which consists of baselines, subsidiary plans, and then we're also talking about project management plan components. So, the way to cover the multiplicity of information is to go for one approach and stick to it. Someone also says, but Phil, we have the Project Management Essentials book. How do I get around that? Well, the Project Management Essentials book you could use as a reference book. When you are stuck reading the PEMBOK guide and you need further clarity, you could go to the Essentials book. Or the other way around, you could read the Essentials book and you could use the PEMBOK guide to further clarify things that may not be explicitly clear to you. But I have heard from a number of students over the past decade that the Project Management Essentials book helped them beyond what the PEMBOK guide could because the English was made so simple. One of the things I strive to do as a trainer is break down difficult content to where it seems like nothing. So reading the Project Management Essentials book is advised. And that is my advice to you. If you are looking to cover the content, have a plan. Morning, audio. Afternoon, PEMBOK guide, quiz based on the knowledge area. Driving back home, audio again. Getting home, perhaps agile. It really depends. Someone may say, but Phil, that is so many things at once. Just like people prefer eating a meal by focusing on one side of the plate at a time, that's how I like to study. And that's okay. But just remember that when you get into the exam, the PMI will not give you your veggies separately from your carbs. They'll give everything to you at once. Veggies, carbs, and protein all in one question. So the more you are used to jumping in and out of the content, the better it will be for you. My advice would be to mix it up. And then when you come into my class, you'll be able to focus for three hours on one item such as agile or predictive. And at the end of the week, you are able to look at project management as one composite chunk as opposed to having to break it up before you consume it. I hope this gave you some ideas about how to study the PEMBOK guide and approach the PMP exam. For those of you who are not on my program, Project Management Masterclass, join the program so you benefit from experts who understand both worlds. There's very thorough agile coverage and extremely thorough hybrid and predictive coverage. Go on down to projectmanagementmasterclass.com and I hope this gives you some ideas and some encouragement. Take care and all the very best. Bye for now.
I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I hope this has given you some context of how to study. Please consider giving this a thumbs up, look for the ratings, and this helps others find this content that can help them in their PMP journey and in their project management. I would like to invite you to a link I've shared with thousands of PMs worldwide. It's a link to the CDC website, their PMO portal with free examples of lots of inputs and outputs. Everything from change management plans to business cases, project charters, project management plans, communication matrices, and so on. Go on down to tinyurl.com forward slash sigma PMO. I will also put a long link in the description of this podcast. Keep on tracking and before you know it, you will be a PMP. Keep putting pedal to metal. Don't let anything dissuade you from your goal. Talk to you in the next episode. Bye for now.